Sorry. Could I have a cigarette? Please? Seriously, not even allowed to smoke in here. Have you ever thought about quitting? What? Smoking? No, never. But it is very unhealthy. Well, drinking coffee is also unhealthy, but that doesn't stop from drinking it, does it? But smoking is more harmful. Your lungs are going to conquer out soon. Did you know that Coffee stimulates stress. It eliminates a hormone which leads to a higher adrenaline ejection, which makes the body feel in a stressful situation. And stress can lead to depression. And depression to suicide. And there is nothing more unhealthy than that, right? And a cigarette is going to increase your lifespan. Yeah, it keeps me from having stress. Do you have the feeling you're in a stress situation right now? Why? I'm in an interrogation room, wearing handcuffs, and I'm being filmed. What else could I ask for? Do you want me to take off the handcuffs then? No. They make me look cool. Well then. Do you know who I am? You're definitely not a police officer. You're not wearing your badge. Besides, you didn't have a key to this room, which means you don't work here. You're from outside. An outsider. Wow, you're pretty smart. It has nothing to do with being smart. I'm just observing. That's all. Mm. Observation, you say? That is also part of my job. May I know what your name is? What for? You have the documents. Why don't you just check in there? Yeah, but I would prefer if you would tell me. Just call me. Sensei. Okay, Sensei. And what is your name? Call me Nemo. Nemo? Wow. Either your parents have cursed you or just love animated movies. Why? If that's in fact your real name, you probably had a pretty hard time in school being bullied. No, actually, I didn't. So what you see is your real name. Names are not important right now. More important is the reason why you are here. Do you have any idea? Why I'm here? I assume that I'm a suspect. Or I'm in a witness protection program. But I doubt it. You are here because Clara Davis, who was a friend of yours, died. She was found in front of the back door of a club, the infamous state of Euphoria. This happened two days ago at 3.12 a.m. What do I have to do with this? You were the last person who was with her. Are these facts? Yes. We have some witness statements and some other evidence. Witness statements? They aren't always 100% true, you know? Yes. But if you hear the same statement from three separate witnesses, then that's a very good indicator for a crime. Am I wrong? But I'm not here to talk particularly about the case. I'm here to talk about you. A girl just died, and the focus is on me. You don't really seem to grieve about the death of your friend. Is there a reason for this? We weren't actually friends. In fact, we never were. I heard that you had a relationship with her. Did those witnesses tell you this? Like I said, I'm not a police officer. I just got the information handed to me. Well, yeah, we had something, but shit, man, this was so long ago. Two years? Yeah, could be. So, do you have any fears? Well, 
That's what I feel like change of subject. Do you have any? How do you mean? Like phobias? No, not exactly. More like things you're just afraid of. Not in the north, no? Really? Nothing. No? Why? Everyone has certain anxieties. Some are afraid of darkness, some of loneliness, and some of monsters. Clowns. No. No, I'm afraid of nothing. Your friends have claimed to know something else? My friends? First of all, if my so-called friends claim to say such things, then you can really call them my friends, can you? They're supposed to watch my back. Secondly, if you believe what they say and not what I say, why are you asking me all this shit? Why am I even here? And finally, even if I was the one who killed Clara, wouldn't they hate me? So please, don't call them my fucking friends. They're just people who have the power to destroy me. You don't trust them. Hmm. I know you're not annoyed because of your friends, but rather because of a word I mentioned. I deliberately pronounced it the way I did to see how you would react and the result, well, uh, one can obviously see what happened. What do you mean? A specific fear you know but don't want to talk about. I know what your father did and I also know about the clown. I know that your father, Mr. Brutus, was a very violent man. I also know that he was an alcoholic. Stop! I know about that one night. You were only six and he came into your room and... I said, stop! Molested you. He wore makeup during the act. A clown's makeup. Next thing you know, you see your father in court. That was also the last time you ever saw him death penalty. When the case was filed you got a new identity. Now I understand why you wouldn't say your name. On the one hand it's because you want to protect your identity. On the other hand it's because your name reminds you of him. Reminds you of your father. You're good. You did your homework. Do you miss your mother? I know she passed away very early. I'm sorry for your loss. I was five. I don't even remember her face. Just very blurry images come to my mind when I think of her. I, I suppressed all my memories of her. Why? I can think of her. It makes me weak. I had to let her go. I wanted to live my own life and take on responsibilities. To live independent, like a real man. You know, life is too short for grieving. You shouldn't forget the people you love. You should keep them alive by making them proud. You should look back at the good memories you had together. That is what is important. I have never felt this alone. I still had my dad, but he wasn't able to handle it after my mother. A year later, he couldn't control it anymore, and he let it out on me. I'm sure he had his own reasons. But to this day, I still don't know why he did what he did. You know, after just seven day, I needed someone to talk to, a person to listen to me, to help me, to wipe the tears off my face. But I was there all alone. I had no one. I was filled with hatred, but not only because of my dad, it was also because of my mom because she also left me. She left me with him. You know, I, I felt like 
which I like being under the ocean, surrounded by water, depth, and darkness. You know, I'm screaming for help, but no one hears me. No one is trying to listen. I try to survive, but I have the feeling that I'm drowning. Almost like Nemo. Mm. Your friend, your acquaintances have said that you seem to be distracted a lot. They said that you would have the feeling of someone following you. They also said that you would talk a lot about a clown. You would have nightmares. Apparently you even knocked down one of your acquaintances. After this exploit you were talking about a clown as if you would have seen one. I was always drunk when something like this happened. I couldn't think clearly. Especially LSD can fuck you up, you know? So you were intoxicated all the time. Whenever such things happen, you were intoxicated. Yeah, that could be possible. Or what did my friends say? I don't think you're taking this seriously. What do you expect, man? Three hours ago, I was sitting at home, eating cornflakes, watching cartoons. And now I'm here in a fucking interrogation room, wearing handcuffs, listening to all your bullshit. Bullshit? Yeah. A girl is dead. And you call this bullshit. It is. Who gives a fuck about this girl, man? That is the problem. Yeah, it could be. Wouldn't that make you even more suspicious? The girl's breasts and feet, including her footwear, were cut off. Using her own blood, a clown's face was painted on her face. <coughs> Judging from the patterns and geometric shapes, it looks like your work. My work? Link and Picasso what? <laughs> the police search for your house, of course, with a search warrant from the FBI. You fucking assholes. Maybe we are, but these drawings were found in your room. It is the same pattern. Your drawings and Clara's face seem to be identical. It seems to me that you guys are just wasting your fucking time. Why? Because you're not a murderer? Because. You already know who it is. You maybe even know more than me. I have to say I haven't been very honest with you. You a liar? Shit, Nemo. I thought it was your sensei. My name is Lucius Farmer. I'm a psychologist. Farmer? It seems worse than Nemo, man. No matter how much you want to hide your personality behind all these jokes, I know what's going on on your mind. Do I look like a fucking forest come to you? Your fri friends say you suffer from paranoia. It's bullshit, man. Whenever I asked something uncomfortable, you looked back. You moved your head towards your shoulder as if something was there. Is he in the room? Who? You know who? Clown. Furthermore, I'm pretty sure that the incident in your childhood has caused that you transfer the personality of your father onto other people. In psychoanalysis, we call such a phenomenon psychological projection. And in your case, it's a kind of defense mechanism in which you are projecting the acts and the memories of your father onto other people. That means the people in your environment take over the role of the clown. Your surroundings are portraying him and because of the fact that you hate your father, you're turning paranoid. If your friends or others embody his role, you will only see the projection of your father. These projections are conducted by your feelings. The reason why you beat one of your friends is because you saw your father in him as the form of a clown. You're just trying to escape, but your past still follows you. So I am fucking forced onto you. May I use the toilet now? No. Not in my lost pack of shit? No, because you're avoiding this topic. You have been doing this your entire life. You have always been running away without telling anyone. And what do you want from me, man? The question is, what do you want? What do you mean? Like I said, I'm not here to discuss this case with you. 
I'm here to talk about you. The thing is that you have already been classified as guilty. What? All this time. What the fuck is happening, man? What are you on about? Arrest, feet and shoes were found in your apartment. No. The DNA tests prove it, so it's very obvious. Someone is trying to frame me. They, they're trying to blame me for it, Nemo. I didn't kill her. I wish it were like that. The problem is I have to find out something. To find out what? If I should classify you as sane or insane. What? Fuck. If I'm crazy or not? The court has decided to charge you with the death penalty. It's planned you are going to have your last meal very soon. My job is to decide if you are going to live or die. An electric chair or a normal one in a psychiatry. It's your choice. So I have only a few more days left? Not necessarily. If you cooperate. What should I do? Help me understand. Confess that the crime you did was a result of your compromised mind. That your father is the key to everything. That you saw a projection in Clara. A reflection of your deep soul. It's not that easy. Couldn't you just embrace your past? Until now you have either been rejecting everything or you're not giving a legit statement. It would be so much easier if you could help me to help you. It's impossible. I have the feeling you want to die. Could you blame me? Sometimes it's worth living. You just have to learn to accept. Only then can you leave your past behind and start a fresh place. I don't have anything to lose. I could set up a theory about you, but without any evidence, they're not very reliable. They are just theories. You are my evidence. So does the clown still haunt you? Look at me. Do you have delusions? Do you still see the clown? Are you suppressing your feelings linked to your past? Jerome, for God's sake! Did you see a projection of the clown in Clara Davis? Did you project the clown on her? Is that why you killed her? Because you could not handle your feelings caused by your father. Please, did you see the clown?